Day two of the 2024 spring turkey run. Here we come. Well, it's Saturday morning, day two of going to the spring turkey run. Leslie's got her van all cleaned up, ready to go. So we're taking them today, taking both old cars today. Van's all ready to clean up. Remember, we still need a name for this van. And the old Dodge. Andrew's got the old Dodge cleaned up. Cornet, flat six. We're going to drive them. Headed to the day two of us down here at Daytona to Turkey Run. This Tennessee boy needs this stuff right here down here. Check this out. That's pretty cool right there. Yeah. <clears throat> You, know, you can't have that much fun with a new car. Oh my goodness. And the stickers that I have seen this weekend. Come on. That's pretty good. Let me see the stickers here, then. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Oh, there's another one that's funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh. See there? One man's vision. That's pretty cool. This is the first Falcon I've seen all weekend. Well, of course, it's just the second day, but... I didn't see any Falcons yesterday at all, but nice car, 65, it's a nice car. All right, here we are, day two. I'm gonna try to get better videos. I'm a little more calmed down now because I was just really looking around yesterday. And I also went back and looked and Lord of mercy, if I said cool one time, I said like 57,000 times yesterday. So I'm gonna try not to do that, so. And like I said, hang in there with me if you don't care. We're going to get better at this. So we're just looking around here today. Oh, look here. I can tell from here it's a Sprint because it's got a Sprint steering wheel on it. Look at this. Nice car. See, notice it's got the backup lights in it. I like it. No way he's got a Sprint tack. Oh my gosh. That's like a unicorn. Really nice car. Really nice car. Cause you know, I love a Sprint, even these roundy ones. Got back there talking to the guy that owned the Black Falcon that I just put on there. And that was his dad's car. And he's ended up with it and it's put it all back together like that and that car had been painted back in the 90s that car had been painted back in the 90s here's my crew that left me i lost them but so here we're starting back in here a lot more to look at today a lot more all right look at this one Really nice car. That is a very unique color, but it is really pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's not silver. It's not, I guess, mauve. I don't know what color you would call this thing. This will be the first one I've seen this, this color here. Check out the big Pontiac tack. Super neat. And then you get up here. And this LS swap is out of a GT. And look how they put the fake three deuce cap on it. That's pretty neat. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice one. My son would drag me halfway across this place for a a, a mint conditioned 26,000 mile K car. It's a Plymouth, but same Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not a play, uh, K car. It's a Plymouth Reliant. Look at that thing. That looks like it's got original paint on it and everything, don't it? Oh, he smokes. Look at that. What about that? I mean, they threw these things away when they were practically brand new. This one's survived big time. That's pretty neat. I guess this is Hulk themed. Little D's on Z. I always liked them 300 Z's, they were pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, some of them had uh, twin turbos with that motor in it. Now yeah, we're getting down here in Mustangs. It's a good looking Mustang there. SS 396 Camaros. Dodge 57 Hemis. Ah, oh, look at this F. Did you get this 250? That's like the one you had, ain't it? Here's the uh, Rhino Line Ford truck we seen last night, which I thought was pretty neat. Here's the one that had the Cadillac motor in it last night at the cruise in. So they're driving these things. Here's an Avanti. My dad had one of these things. Uh, actually, he bought it new. And I forget what model, I forget what model my dad's was. What model's this thing, sir? The Bonnie 2? Yeah, he had one of them. That's a good looking Chevelle. Supercharged on that thing. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Okay, I like the guy's set up on this. Look at that, look at this. And, believe it or not, look at this. They even did the edges. It's smooth. This is a nice car. They sanded it, they buffed it. They took their time and finished the car how it's supposed to be finished. Really nicely done. I like it. Really, really nicely done. This is how the inside of mine will be, except for mine's 64 style. Really nice. Automatic car. Nice headliner. This is nice car. And for hate of copying him, but this is how I want the motor to my car to look, just like this right here. This is a really nice car. Lock it. You never see a Falcon or a Ranchero Hot Wheels. Or I have. Probably find about every other kind of car you could imagine. But I've never seen a Falcon or a Ranchero Hot Wheels. Or a Matchbox for that matter. You see about everything else but that. No. So now we're getting into the, some of the swap meat stuff and all. This is when you gotta dig and peel for through all this stuff. find something. Oh, no. Had a crash back there with the Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. 
up here. It's an old set of red line tires. I need some of them red lines to go on them original wheels I got, don't I? Shiny polishy stuff over there, Leslie. Okay, so we're at the Challenger motorcycle tent. And what we used to say back in the day, if you was going to be a bear, be a grizzly. That right there would flat do it. That is so cool right there. Wow. I've never seen one of these, have you? That's really cool right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy. That is something else right there. That is really neat. Really cool. I like them. I know I'm drawn to the Fords, but still. That's a good looking fire lane right there. Look at that. Really, really, really nice. See there? This guy, they done the edges. I like them when they're like this. Look how pretty that thing is. <clears throat> so my son would be the one that noticed the big old station wagons from plumb across the the way there. So here we are. Since we're all looking, I'm going to hang in here. Which they are cool too, though. I got a buddy that's had one of these, several of these things. <laughs> Andrew said everything he likes in a car that his dad hates. I don't know that. We just like different stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. This little guy here. That's pretty. That's why. Oh, it does, don't it? Got the top on it. That's what makes car stuff neat is that there's something for everybody if you're looking. They've all got those tops on them, Andrew. Must be. Must must be. So I, I don't know. Yeah, they've all got that top. I don't know what the deal is at the top. So I like all of them, but of course, I really like this one right here. I really like this one right here. Yep. Impala SS. Yeah, and I really like this one. I like the little doodads right there too. This guy's plumb from Connecticut. Yeah, that's nice. For sure. I know, how about all that under the hood there? It's got the belt driven turbo. Yeah. It's not hooked up yet. Yep. No. All right. So we just got through looking at all the Impala station wagons. I see a bunch of Falcons over here. And don't you look, they ditched me. That's all right. They bring me down here, they can do that. So let's go see what we got over here. I can see to start with, we got a 65 Sprint. Looks like we got a 65 Futura. Got a 63 maybe. 65 Station Wagon. No 64s. Maybe they will be in the spring when we just come down here. 
So, yeah, little 65 Sprint. A little bit of stuff is different. And again, I really like these deals right here. I got some Magna 500s, but I like them right there. Console, straight shift car. This car's nicely done. Black paint's really nice. The edges is done. Looking down the side of it. That's how they're supposed to look. <clears throat> I like his sticker. Yeah. I guess this is a 63. I like the valve covers he's got there. Got air on this one. I like the station wagon. That's nifty. This one's automatic car. I like that. I seen this white one here when we were here in the fall. And uh, I think it's got two fours on it. Yeah, yeah. I like this little car. Two fours on it. Oh no. And I can tell from here that's a sprint tack appears to be. I want one of them bad. Yep. Sprint tack. I really want one of them things bad. So maybe sometime, maybe by the time I get the car done, you know, I'm just now getting a start on the body on it. So we got a little while. There's an the AC unit for a 65. We even got these rice burners, I call them. This one here is really neat. My buddy Kevin's got one of these things, but it's a station wagon version of this thing. I'll have to send him some video and pictures of it. Like I've said several times, there's not as much stuff, but it was more manageable and easier to find. So I took pictures of stuff that I liked where I could look around and shop the best prices on them. Phew, so much to look at. You kind of get sidetracked if you're not careful while you're looking through everything. You know, you'll get, you'll get sidetracked off and there you'll be. So, valve covers, cross members. Boy, that's close to what I needed right there. Except for I needed for a Falcon. There's the cross members like I'm going to need, but it's the wrong model. Her shifters. Look at those. Those are nice. Hundred for some T handles to bolt it down with. I mean, I'm telling you, there is. If you want it, it's here. The only trouble is if you find it, if it, you want to pay for it. But for everything that we found, that we wanted, it's been really, really reasonable. Well, of course, I wouldn't have bought it but if it wasn't reasonable, but everything's been reasonable so far. And if you get here desperate and you don't want to carry everything, somebody's found out that people buy a wagon. Yesterday, yesterday we could have used a wagon. I mean, there's just something for everybody. Tools, car parts, clothes.
I love the fact that all this old stuff is here. That if you want to take the time, we did yesterday and going to today, if we see something that's, there's just a couple of things that I'm looking for today because I pretty much, you know, scratched my whole list off yesterday in, uh, in one day, which I was just absolutely blown away. We had a bunch of the list kicked off. Then the first um, four or five rows. So I'm hanging in there. See Mallory Cole, uh, Cal Custom Breather, Cal Custom um, Valve Cover Vents. Um, and that's just about it. The rest of it would just be something that I might want. So, and it's so hard not to get confused on where you've been. So we're trying to make us a little, we had us a plan today. We're gonna walk up the outside edges and then we're gonna go to the very end and then zigzag back and forth through the very end. Right there, console, tag. His and her shifters, convertible top pumps, chrome covers. Goodness gracious. Just a little bit of everything again. Yeah. Here's a bunch of old school stuff. This is ones I like to stop at. That's cool. All kinds of manifolds. Looks like all kinds of Ford stuff here. Flywheels. Oh, look. Three deuce and the dang breather that goes with it. There's a set of Cobra powered by Ford valve cut. Oh, look at this. Is this a small block three deuce intake? Sure it is. A small block three deuce intake. Now how cool would that be? 950 bucks. All kinds of Ford emblems, shifter knobs, buttons caps. He's right there, bud. Sir. I think I bought some stuff from this guy. Right there. Last year. There he is. Miscellaneous shifter stuff. Fairlane four speeds, three speed stuff, Mustang shifters. Breathers. Emblems, nine inch chunks everywhere. Centerpieces. Hey, now I did, I told a guy this, I seen a thing on the internet where some of these right here, believe it or not, they say Ford Mustang on them. But if you pop that thing right there off, some of them still say spring underneath of them because it's a regular cap. Now, I didn't know that, so. All right, I'm gonna put this down, ask the guy if he's got a, a throttle linkage. Wish me luck. Well, the guy says he has the bell crank thing that I need for the throttle at his shop at the house. Looks like he's got a stack full of 30 plus thousand dollar fastbacks if you want one. Of course, now, I mean, where are you going to get one? So I guess 30000 the fact that he can, he's got one is is probably something, you know. So let me catch up with him. I'm as bad as my wife shopping for a shirt down here. I'm having a ball. So we've almost made it to the end, and then that's where we're going to start going crisscross back. We're going to start going crisscross back here in a few minutes. I find them. So, we'll see. Oh, look up here. Here's a big bunch of stuff. Mostly the 
just like Chevrolet stuff from here. I know some of you people like them little things, and that's all right. Let's see what they got. This is the miscellaneous grab bag session look, section, looks like, for just about everything. There's another one of those YN triangle shaped breathers like I had, but I really don't want that. Like I said, I'm gonna try to go for the the uh, cow custom look this time with that thing. Might luck up and find one of them what I'm gonna call a bell crank in this mess. Even though it is Chevrolet stuff, I have to make sure that it's a, it'll fit. Sway barms, little bit of everything here, looks like. I don't think we got anything in here we can use on a Falcon. But, you know, there's everything here. It's like I said earlier. There's about a blue million kind of shifter rods and stuff, shifting forks, things on it. That's that's probably pretty hard to find some of that stuff is, I guess. So, all right. Now we gotta find the Andrew and the Leslie. Fiberglass kits. Oh, look, <coughs> bodies for the go-karts. That's pretty neat there. Yeah, these look like nice bodies also. I mean, you're gonna have to fix everything, so if you wanted to build you one. Handles everywhere, wheels everywhere. There's all them old style, uh, old style wheels, but brand new ones. They're like 20s and stuff like that over there. Pretty neat. There's your grab bag box. So, Everything you could imagine again. So, I just hadn't found the last few little things. Oh, why couldn't them be red? Why couldn't them be red? Dang. Look here. But blue instead of red. Because I want red, uh, I want red wires to match the red interior on my car. Then would have been really neat if that had been red. That don't mean there's not some up there somewhere. Just to put a set of Mustang bumpers out. Spoilers. Look at this. I'm talking about a whole row of wheels. have found the garage wall art area right here and uh, I don't know what kind of stuff you call it wife area that's what I call it yeah wife area need a surfboard for your old car there we got it they got it looks like if you need your for a gas tank it's over there too RC stuff helicopters plug-ins oil tanks <laughs> look at that even a saddle I told you there's everything here Sockets, welders, horns, bike pedals, Coca Cola boxes, trunks, and saddlebags. It's thinner up on this end here, but there's still stuff here. See, so sooner or later. I'm gonna walk up on one of them right there and that coil that I'm looking for is gonna be right there at it. I just know it before this day's over. Here's a 
Mustang, box of Mustang stuff. Take a look at all this stuff. It's a set of handles, but they're not new, used ones. There's the bumper guards. So pretty good box of stuff. That's how you're gonna get your deal like I did yesterday when I bought that whole box of stuff. It's awful windy today. <clears throat> and we're up here on this end up through here. I can't believe how I got a bunch of these things here. I can't believe there's so many of these little oil cans that people are that people are looking for. Skateboard stuff. See, I told you there's everything here. Skateboards. Surfboards. Stop signs. Big, long, dang skateboards. I'd get killed. I used to ride them things all the time. I tried to stand up on the granddaughters one other day, and I thought, eh, no. No. Good looking motorcycle. Yeah. Good looking motorcycles. <laughs> Signs everywhere. I keep thinking in the, in amongst one of these little places like this is where I'm going to find my breather caps and stuff I'm looking for. So far, that's a negative, but day's not over yet. Look at this. Today, we're hauling stuff for Andrew. I and sold the last one of these for $200. I got $5. Oh, wow. How many of these have been thrown away? I know it. We took them. We did, oh, my gosh. I remember when Daddy wanted one of them things on top of his on his uh, 79 Chevrolet car hauler. I thought, that's the ugliest thing ever. And then we even made it worse. We put one of them plastic sun visor things on it, drilled in the roof and all that. It's like, oh, my gosh. Here we are. And now all of a sudden, uh-oh, uh-oh. What color are they? What color are they? Come on now. Boom. Yeah. We're back to the end of another row. Signs, t-shirts, metalwork, yard art. <laughs> so what I need to do is bring my wife home a flamingo rain gauge. What do you think? Flamingo rain gauge? There's all kinds of this little lights and trailer stuff and plug-ins and all that stuff like that here everywhere. So now we're zigzagging back and forth back through the middle now we come up the outside and now we're going to go back down the, the end of it well those are neat Pontiac stuff so uh oh I've lost my cohorts I'll find them I don't know where they went but we'll find them so, oh, here's some shocks. Maybe some shocks. But that's not the right ones. It's not the right ones. I need the ones with the bolts on the end that has a stud on the end. But I ain't giving up yet. Oh, there they are down there. I think Andrew's having the fun today. Yesterday I had the fun because I kept finding stuff that I was looking for. And today he's finding stuff he's looking for. But we're not done yet. We got us a real 67 GTO. Man, I've done a bunch of work on these things forever for my uncle. So we got a 67 GTO. This looks at all the numbers and stuff on it. And we got a 72 Torino GTS probably pretty hard deals to find and we got over here got a few motorcycles we can buy i got enough motorcycle 
But boy, that thing right there is pretty. I like that. I like that, a Suzuki. Oh, a GS1000. I like it. There's some of them wood grain steering wheels and their lines are busted up though. Yep. All kinds of stuff. So, I spotted the bicycle from plumb across the way over there. I wonder if this is a real one or if it's a repop one. I think those are Shimano's, and then I've seen other bikes that Yeah, that's a wannabe. I had a swim one of these that was green. That was green. That's a pretty neat one. It looks like an actual, like, center console. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. They go on the double tube top right then, probably. Yeah. Like a fixed rail. Yeah, that's a center. That would probably be, yeah. Hot wheels are everywhere at this place. I've never seen so many Hot Wheels. Hey, whoever's out there lost their marbles, I found them. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't find any original cow custom stuff. So I ended up, I made a deal with this guy here. Didn't want to be on the thing, but I got the breeders with the satin in it. I mean, the, uh, yeah, the breathers with the satin in it. <coughs> and I also got this oval, or whatever you want to call it, with that right there. I'll take home, distress some of these on the edges of it, paint that gray to match the car, boom, and there's everything for the car. I've literally found everything that I was looking for down here. Everything I was looking for down here. I'm trying to multitask here. I'm sorry about that that um, I wanted. The only thing that I haven't found yet that I really would like to have is the Mallory Cool. And so we've only just got a few rows here left to look for the Mallory Cool, but I could find one of them. I found a couple of those on, uh, uh, on Marketplace. So it's not like I'm just bummed out over that thing because I can find one of those. Uh, I was just really hoping to find one that I could put my hands on. So, so we're gonna keep on looking here and stuff. So, they got a little bit of everything still. Look at that, XR75. Man, them things is expensive. they make special shirts just for And to think I had a XL70, that thing's probably worth a ton too. And I think I sold that thing to my cousin back years ago for like, I don't know, $600 or something seems like. Them days is over. You can't really buy nothing for $600 anymore. So. But. We'll keep pilfering through here. These last little section in down through here. And then we're getting out of this heat. Somehow it's like 90 degrees down here. I've been in Tennessee where it's been 50s and 60s. And here I am. I'm about to sweat to death. Suspension stuff. I keep thinking surely in one of these booths with all this random stuff that I'm gonna find one of these cools. But so far, so far not, not happened. So far not happened. But, that doesn't mean it won't happen. Oh, I've lost them again. I got sidetracked. They're more focused than I am. I got a little bit of squirrel today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see them up there now. That's got some good stuff. Yes. So, I think we're in the Chevrolet world now. Which, as everybody knows, if you got anything to do with cars, the Chevrolet stuff is way easier to find. And of course, you know, I'm going to poke the Chevrolet guys because there's more of them broke down that you can get parts off of but anyways yep we're just about through with everything now just I think we got just about four or five 
more rows to go through and uh and we'll have it don't you look at this it always happens that way as soon as you buy something you come across one of the guys that's got some stuff too but but i'm liking what i got uh, i like mine better than that smooth one so i'm good oh look small block ford oil pan is it too early to be getting a small block ford oil pan let's see how much he wants for that thing 119 dollars that's not bad at all and that would match wouldn't it oh my goodness let me see what this is my shipping bill is going to be crazy so i think i'm going to pass on the big thing but then the next time you know we come through then i'll just have it i'll just find it online and have it sent to me but i do really like that all right so we're absolutely killed it is hot today so we're on our way back to the van in the car to put all their stuff up and then we're going to go back in here and come back in and get us something to eat and then i guess from here after we get through something to eat we're going to go and look at all the rest of the cars and then after we get through looking at the cars i guess we'll go from here maybe straight to the to the cruise in tonight over where you come into the racetrack at so had a great time down here um this is the this one here compared to the one in november uh this one is way more laid back i felt like that um they were willing to make a deal um i mean i wasn't rude and trying to cut nobody's throat or nothing but um you know i did uh, negotiate on every item that i ended up purchasing the only the only item that i wasn't able to negotiate with was the mr gasket aluminum t-handle and he wouldn't budge a bit so i paid full price for it which was still a good deal i gave 35 bucks i think for the shifter knob and the guy that i bought the shifter knob from he actually had four of them and that was the only four mr gasket shifter handles uh, T handles that I seen in this whole entire place. I seen a blue million B and W's or B and M's. Uh, I seen all kinds of Hurst, but I literally the four that guy had that was the uh, uh, Mr. Gasket ones. He's the only one here that had one. So I guess 35 bucks on that one. I got a deal. So anyway, we're headed out. We got sidetracked here. I think Andrew's wanting to get some blue dots. Uh, for his van stuff and then we'll catch us some lunch and then uh we'll look at some cars the rest of the evening so we were walking on our way out so i'll just get you some walk bys of the cars that are up here as we're going out you got mustang a volkswagen a samurai uh, i'm gonna guess mercury not sure ss chevelle uh, SS Camaro, Cuda, the slickest Falcon here that I've done that. You seen that earlier? The Malibu, the Avanti, the Radilac 472, the dang really nice. F-250 Lariat, Dodge, Camaro, Mustang, Corvette, Urash Rockets, I call them. Custom Deluxe Chevrolet Long Bed, Corvettes. Look at the little Nova station wagon. That wasn't here when we come in. That's really neat. That is really neat right there for sure. GTO. That's a nice ride right there. Catch the drive by on that one. Mach 1. Okay, this Mustang right here, I actually seen it to Turkey Run. This is an all original car and the lady drives it all over the place. That's pretty cool. I remember seeing that one. 
and uh, here's our marked till we can find where we're going that purple and white van there um, so the big Cadillac convertible coming up right here to my left as we're walking in up through here that wasn't here lots of stuff in here when we come in because we came in earlier we've been here for several hours uh, pretty good looking old Cadillac right there I'm gonna trip and break a leg while I'm trying to do this but that's neat I love the big fins I love the big fins and so here we are up through here Andrew will be excited people's all around his car up here taking a look at it that's them way up there with the purple van so Trans Ams love them Trans Ams and the Z28 beside it I always thought the Z28s were really nice too when when my dad had the car lot and I we were, we had all kinds of uh, the Trans Ams and Z28s and stuff we had everything from Malibus and whatever else you wanted just now seen that we have to go over here and check that out after we get through eating that little old panel van over there or whatever you call them things which is pretty cool so we'll take a look at some cars when we get our bellies full here all right we're down for the count for a few minutes to get us some grub we got us some good health food All right, lunch is over. Andrew found these for Leslie. Where are you going to find a set of purple dice for a purple van, valve stem covers, caps, and it gets better. Oh, where'd the other ones go? And also, he got a set of, uh, let's see them. Check it out. Purple door locks, dice. Cool. Oh, Andrew said freebies. Got a lighting. We seen this while we were taking our break. My wife loves these old Broncos. Pretty nice one. Yeah, two of them. Pretty nice. I like them. This would be my wife's car if she could have whatever she wanted. Yep. Always had nice ones. That's a good looking Chevelle. I seen this car yesterday, but I didn't get to make it over here to check it out. Um, I don't exactly know, but it's obviously on a late model chassis that they have fabricated up to make it go on this. Oh, here's the thing on it. We'll see. This is a high dollar build right here for sure. All right, let's see. Yep. Oh, uh, it's got a 2011 Corvette, 17,000 miles, LS3, automatic, only 120 miles since completed, 150,000. I mean, that took some major, major, major doing. It's nice, for sure. Yeah, very nice. Different, but very nice. Myself, I don't know why you go to all these trouble to build these cars and then not drive the blame things. I'm driving mine. I can't wait to get mine done to where I can drive it. So, but I mean, I, I guess you could see if you're building a hundred and fifty thousand dollar custom car no nah, no nah, you couldn't either i'm driving it that's just me 
old caddy convertible. What is it, a DeVille? That's cool. Sixty-eight Ford Fairlane GT five hundred. Built my mob still on uh, the History Channel. Fifty-eight five. Put you right in this thing. Four-speed car. That's neat. Flat black Nova. Whole back row of them. Little shitty too. Little Nova, I'm sorry. Got your Camaros. Volkswagen truck. Convertible Chevelles, hardtop Chevelles. Four runners. I mean, We've been here for two days all day long and there's no way we've seen all the cars, so. These are just cool cars. Huh. Look, the surfboard's got a chunk cut out of it like it got bit by a shark. That's a pretty good touch. Well, it looks like this car is for sale, but they scratched off how much it was, so. It's a 54 Deluxe Woody Wagon. I guess if you have to ask, it's too much. I think, oh, look at the baby blue. Now, I like this right here. Two fours. Nicely done. Really nice. Look at that, how nice that is. Yeah, that's neat truck pulling out there. Uh oh. There they are. There's my people. New stuff up through here that I don't think we've seen. Never seen one of these either. Rambler Cross Country, it says. That is one unique looking whatever that thing is. And sadly, we're almost up here at the end. And my blank phone's about to go dead on me. That's really neat car. 59 Rambler Cross Country Wagon. As you know, in 27.5. Hopefully my battery won't go dead because we're headed out here. How often do you see a 442 with three deuces? That's pretty neat. Looks like there is the shipping build and stuff. I'll be whopping $3,815. Appreciation value. He just wants 60000 can't be many of these things. Really, really neat. I've never seen one with a three deuce in it. I like the red wall tires too. I need some of them for my Ranchero. That's on my bucket list next, later on. So really nice car.
That is a bunch of vintage speed stuff just rolled by there. I don't know if you could tell it or not, but the little, the tow car was a flathead with three deuces. Well, we're done. This is the only thing I bought today. Got me a breather. These are not cow customs like the other one, but they're really, really close. They're repop. Didn't see the first cow custom thing there this whole weekend. And here's the breather. And here is just a cap. It was very nice quality and said it looked nice. I'll paint that in there gray. So I think we're well on the way. Let's build a car when I get back.